When it comes to impurity, everything in creation, once it's impure, it cannot become pure again. If, let's say, there's an animal that became impure, there's no way to purify it. Bugs are always impure. Everything that's impure stays that way. Except man. Except a human being. A human being, a Jew, can make themselves pure even if they were the most impure person on earth. Even if they were as bad as Menashe. Menashe was a evil Jewish king that became a Kadosh. But it was a very difficult tshuva. It was a very painful tshuva. But nonetheless, he did tshuva, the Gemara says. He made every sin under the sun. You name it, he did it. Murder, stealing, rape, incest, name it, everything. He murdered his own grandfather, which was the prophet Yeshaya. He cut him to pieces. Murdered a lot of people, but in the end, he did tshuva after HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave him one last chance when he was caught by a bunch of cannibalistic goyim. They put him in a big pot and they started cooking him. Menashe started praying to his idols. Idol A, Idol B, the sun, nothing. The moon, nothing. Tried everything. Everything failed. Finally, he got to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He said, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, if you're real, you see me right now. And I'll do tshuva. Look at this chutzpan. Not only does he make every possible sin under the sun, kills a bunch of tzaddikim, he prays to idols. Before he prays to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, if you see me now, then I'll do tshuva. Like, I won't do tshuva now. Unless you shave me. But this also shows us how much HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves his kids. He knows how stupid we are sometimes. We say, Hashem, I'll do tshuva if you save me. Hashem knows our heart. And he knew that Menashe was genuine. And not only did he save him, he saved him in a miraculous way that while he was being cooked in a huge pot, pot flew up in the air and arrived all the way to Yerushalayim. And at that moment, Menashe obviously knew that HaKadosh Baruch Hu was the one and only God and he did tshuva. Here we see that a person can transform themselves from being mamash tameh, impure as impure gets, to being so tahol that we mention him in a shiur Torah, that we mention him in a Tanakh, that we mention him in the Gemara, that we learn from him. That's the power of a human being, of how great they can get, but also how lowly they can be.